Muslims are going further and further away from the deen. And this you are finding everywhere in the world. The country that we looked on upon, they are sticking to Quran and Sunnah today, they are going away from Quran and Sunnah. And the more they will go away from Quran and Sunnah, the more we will be degraded, there will be more injustice in that country. Now hardly there are countries in the world which we can say a Muslim country that is following Quran and Sunnah. Hardly. So the problem with us Muslims is that we are not united. We are divided. We fight amongst ourselves. If we are united, today we know that previously Muslims were at least united on the issue of Palestine. Today we are divided. There are Muslim countries which are saying no problem. That Israel wants to take over the country. What's happened to the Muslim Ummah? The problem is today we Muslims fear more the human beings in this world than fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, everyone will be judged according to the capacity you have. Everyone has the capacity to do dua. We should do dua as you mentioned, rightly said. But if someone has the capacity to speak, and if he does not speak, Allah will take over his power of speech. If someone has the capacity to fight and he doesn't fight, Allah will take over his power. You know, today the Muslims, at the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Muslims were poor. What Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left behind was the Sahaba, was the Khulfa Rashidin. Today, we Muslims are the richest in the world. We have the black gold, we have the oil, we have the petrol, what are we? Nothing. We have been used as domats. Wealth is not required for us to follow Quran and Sunnah. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I will not fear for my own ummah poverty as much I will fear the richness and the wealth. Today the problem in us is because we are wealthy, we have forgotten Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those Muslim countries which have the wealth, those Muslim countries which have the wealth which they can use in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are using it in the wrong way. I don't have to give examples, the world knows about it. They are using it to bribe the other people, not for the deen. Allah doesn't require us. You and me, the rubbish that we are, Allah does not require us to make his deen prevail. Allah is very clear. And Allah says in the Quran in no less than three different places. In Surah Tawbah chapter number 9 verse number 33. In Surah Fatah chapter number